I just received some pretty exciting packages that we're gonna get into, so let's unbox. <laughs> uh, you guys. Oh. oh, it looks perfect. I'm a sucker for great marketing, great packaging. This is the UV sanitizing pen. Okay. Charger. I hope this is vegan leather. Feels like vegan leather. Wow. All right, so this is it. You keep the uh, top one for when you just wanna, you know, scan your everyday items. I plan on taking the cap off and sanitizing my drinking water um, cause I usually just drink tap water. All right, so we have this. Awesome. To make sure this works, I picked up the complete water test kit. Now this comes with 100 test strips and two bacteria tests which the bacteria tests are what I'm mainly, um, the main reason why I purchased this kit. This pen is supposed to kill viruses, bacteria. Uh, Amazon, they do offer really cool UV water bottles, UV toothbrush cases. Um, I didn't feel like the UV water bottles were worth the price multiple reviews on different uv water bottles um I, I i think now is not the best time to invest in one and so i purchased the uv pen because i can also sanitize various items around the home um, but i can also use it travel with it and sanitize my water we're gonna have some fun these test kits were very expensive uh, so I'm going to do the testing for you guys uh, to one, help save you some money and two, see if this really works. <sighs> we're going, I'm going, we're going to the James River, collect some bacteria infested water and we're going to test to see if this can kill bacteria, bacteria bacteria let's let's do this i'm so nervous i'm so excited um obviously before i get started i'm going to read the back and front of the user manual very important to do i feel like a lot of people don't you never know what different warnings or you know a lot of useful information also information to prolong your device. So always, always read your user manual, no matter what you buy. This water should have plenty of bacteria that we're looking to test. Let's grab some samples. This looks pretty gross. So, <laughs> you guys, we have our bacteria-filled water that we're going to test. Um, I do have to go, so we're going to pick up this video when I get back. All right, next we're going to open up. As you guys can tell, it's much, much late. Oh. I've charged my sanitizing pen for the three recommended hours. And next, we're gonna open up the Verify Complete water test kit. All right. We have 
have our test strips, our two bacteria tests. Um, I'm gonna take a pause and read what this tube is for. Okay, let's, let's get started. So there's a lot of useful information on the 17 parameters. Uh, so definitely do not wanna throw this away. For today's experiment, we do not need this tube. So I'm gonna put that to the side. All right, guys, so we're going to take our sample water that we captured from the James River, all right? You only get two of the bacteria testing bottles, okay? So I labeled them. Well, I labeled one. So we're gonna put the dirty water in the container that says not clean. All right. All right. We're gonna shake this for 20 seconds. You know what? What if there's zero bacteria, zero viruses in the sample water that we captured? This whole experiment goes to waste. <sighs> Let's keep going. All right, so. We must put this in indirect sunlight. So I'm gonna store this in my pantry slash trash can area slash, you get the point. All right, so I shut the door to my pantry, right? So we're gonna let that sit for the next 48 hours. <sighs> I am so excited, okay. We're going to fill this up, okay? Okay. I'm going to put actual sunshades on. I just feel like I shouldn't be looking directly at this while this is on. Forgive me for being a bit ridiculous. You guys, I don't know how to work this. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. We have it on the 90 second duration. Okay. So there's a couple of things that could happen, right? The UVC light could have, in fact, killed the actual bacteria. But let's say like the actual test still may detect the deconstructed bacteria that's supposed to be safe to drink. I don't know if any of this is making sense to you, but follow along with me. So there's a high chance that this still may not work um, for what I want to test for, but it's worth a try, you know? 
And there you go. We're gonna put this in the pantry. All right. There you have it. I'm gonna follow up with you guys in regards to that in the next 48 hours. But we still have some tests that we can kind of have fun with and test around. So let's get back to the test strips. We're gonna take our test strips and we're gonna test the water that I just sanitized versus the unsanitized. All right, first up, the unsanitized. That's like, that's given the first reading for sure. Let's test the sanitized water. You see, it's pretty much giving the same reading. It's definitely giving the same reading. Um, I don't know what to think about this little experiment. All right, let's test my tap water. Um, it has the different uh, indicator. So the green line is like, that means it's okay. So apparently the James River water is okay. We have to test this again, I don't believe it. This is a little concerning. Um, concerning only because my sample water from the James River has like pretty okay parameter levels. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't know. I guess that's not too concerning because you're just testing for like the iron pH. I don't know. I think that's, I would think of, I don't know. I give up, I give up, I give up, I give up. It is 1.56 the following day, or technic, uh, yes, the following day. Let's check on these water samples. Uh, I knew it. <laughs> It hasn't been 24 hours, but it looks like they're both going to be bacteria free, but we'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye on them. All right. It's been 24 hours or no, it's been 48 hours. Both containers are harmless. <laughs> I cannot believe the end result. So essentially both waters are clean. You can essentially just bottle up the James River and drink it. It's good to go. Um, I absolutely cannot believe this. Ah. <sighs> 